Emergency as well as non-emergency incidents can occur anywhere and at any time. Emergency services agencies must be ready to mitigate these incidents in an effective and timely manner. One of the key factors involved in the successful mitigation of these incidents is effective radio communications. Emergency responders handle routine day-to-day -day incidents using their in-house radio systems, networks, and frequencies. But what happens when an incident exceeds the abilities of that system? How do multiple responding agencies, including local, county, state, and federal resources, work together seamlessly to resolve the incident? The answer is AIRS, the Arizona Interagency Radio System. The Arizona Interagency Radio System, AIRS, is comprised of a statewide network of tri-band repeaters that allow VHF, UHF, and 800 megahertz radio users to communicate together without swapping radios or utilizing cache radios. AIRS is a suite of full-time, cross-banded mutual aid channels designed to provide interoperable communications capability to first responders of police, fire, and emergency medical service agencies, as well as other personnel of municipal, county, state, tribal, and federal agencies performing public safety or public service activities. The Arizona Department of Public Safety may also determine that selected non-governmental organizations performing public safety or public service activities are eligible for approval to use AIRS. These radio frequencies are to be used in the event of multi-agency operation, requiring the use of the common state radio channel, specifically for the use of coordinating activities during identified incidents. AIRS frequencies are not designed to be used by a single agency for routine public safety operations. Frequencies may, however, be used by single agencies to reconstitute communications in the event of a system failure or other significant communications loss. The state is broken up into 10 AIRS regions. Although these regions are drawn on the county boundaries, the radio coverage provided by a single communication site may extend beyond a single region or county. Within a region, most communication sites are electronically voted to select the site that has the best received audio quality. The voted signal is sent to the communication center and a control signal is sent to the selected communication site to enable the cross-band repeater operation. This operation is automatic, does not require any interaction with the communication center, and provides repeater and cross-band operation to field users. To use the AIRS system, an agency must have the AIRS channel programmed into their radios. This channel will then allow the agency to access the system statewide. AIRS can be used when you move into an area when two or more agencies are working together on an incident or a scene. AIRS channels are reserved for situations that require interoperable communications to coordinate multiple public safety, public service entities and or activities across two or more separate radio systems. The following rules of use shall apply to these channels. Use of the National Incident Management System. An incident command system compliant with the National Incident Management System must be used with a regional interoperability resource such as AIRS. Plain language. All interoperable communications during multi-agency, multi-discipline incidents will be in plain language. Avoid using radio codes, acronyms, and abbreviations as they may cause confusion between agencies. Ensure that all verbal requests for assistance or backup specify the reason for the request. Unit identification. Announce your home agency prior to announcing your unit identifier during interoperable communication situations. For example, Flagstaff, Engine 1. There are several modes of use, disasters, large-scale incidents, and extreme emergencies incidents where imminent danger exists to life or property. 
Other incidents requiring the response of multiple agencies, including pre-planned events requiring mutual aid or interagency response. And incidents involving a single agency where supplemental communications are needed for short-term agency use, such as drills, tests, and exercises. Priorities for system use are focused on incidents with the greatest level of exigency. Agencies with single or limited interoperable options have a priority of use over agencies with existing multiple interoperable resources. Agencies leading multi-agency incidents where AIRS channels are needed will notify the Monitoring Communications Center of their need for the channel, either by clearing on air or calling the center, and will describe the nature of the incident. The Monitoring Communications Center will confirm availability of the AIRS channel and tell the agency to go ahead and begin use. The Monitoring Communications Center will continue to monitor AIRS traffic in the event of a change in the incident or the development of a subsequent incident. Okay. Is there anything contagious in the, the lead agency's communication center will provide dispatch services for the incident. Providing dispatch services includes the responsibility for monitoring and responding on AIRS channels and coordinating other agency unit responses as requested or necessary. At the termination of an incident, or when the incident no longer requires the use of AIRS, the lead agency should announce that AIRS will no longer be used for incident traffic and that all field personnel should return to their home communication center. The lead agency will then announce that the channel is clear. AIRS can be used during multi-agency drills, pre-planned events, and exercises providing an opportunity to become acquainted with the overall system, components, and procedures. Report any technical problems or maintenance issues encountered during the use of AIRS to the primary lead agency dispatcher or communication center. AIRS has the ability to enhance emergency as well as non-emergency communications throughout the state of Arizona. Several agencies have used the system at actual incidents and found that it allowed for better communications, closer coordination, and an overall enhancement of incident management operations. The real design of this, the real purpose, was for the major incident. We have multiple units responding, multiple agencies, and to be able to use this as truly a command frequency and expand out from there. Uh, the next level of priority is that day-to-day -day emergency. So the normal 911 call where you have multiple agencies responding. In northern Arizona, every 911 call has multiple agencies responding so that we can talk to each other and be more efficient with those communications and bypass the dispatch centers. Just talk to each other, know what's going on. You know, from that, the planned events. You know, and that's something, whether it's the NAU commencements, a memorial service, anything that may be going on, a parade downtown, things that we want to use it for, we can put that in the communications plan. Recently we had the Sheriff's Department with a major snowstorm had some of their uh, sites go down. They ended up using that as a backup and that's allowed in the plan for a temporary coverage in an area that you may have lost your normal coverage. Then it can be used for training and exercises. That's within the list. So really the only thing that it's not supposed to be used for is your regular operating frequency on a day-to-day -day basis. The Arizona Interagency Radio System provides an additional tool in your toolbox for use at various types of emergency as well as non-emergency incidents. AIRS means virtual statewide interagency communications using existing radios when the AIRS access channel is programmed. AIRS has the ability to enhance interagency communications at large-scale incidents, thus improving overall operations and safety. And above all, the Arizona Interagency Radio System is operational and ready for use. For additional information on the Arizona Interagency Radio System, 
contact the Public Safety Interoperable Communications Office at 602-364-4498.